give as much. And now Ese Once, you can ex you saw this, it's a Lapu Lapu. We already talked about how this could be a pick for the side of Falcon, but because they chose the Kaja as well as the Fanny over the Lapu Lapu, that will be banned out. Doesn't matter though, because they still have the Yu Zhang if ever they want to take that late. And as we have uh, expected, they want to take their uh, golden choice Pain up until the last moment. The it could even be a Lunox, it could be a Marksman. We don't know. So it's now up to Ese Once to pick up their probably their mid lane mm. right now. Mid lane can definitely work. Something here that would work for them. Maybe yep. is like you know, you know, it has to be something like a Lilia. It has to be sustainable. Lilia. There's so much dive presence and so much damage right. output from Falcon Esports. Thing is though, I do want to talk about Ken's Fal uh, Ken's Fanny here. Mm -hmm. How is he feeling after getting absolutely dominated against on Esports on the same pick in game one of their series, right? He wasn't given the blue, the purple yeah. buff. I mean, I feel like at this point, hey, again, you're kind of just in that mindset of maybe you want to uh, make up for that, right? You want to just have this kind of redemption game for yourself, and oh, this they is a good start. But hey, you called this wolf. There's the Lunox locked in. They, they snatch it, and this is a very smart move coming up from Essence. So knowing that it is a good burst hero together with a Martis and the Benedetto, you have so much damage potential. Your hero uh, damage per second is just off the roof. Then you also snag it away from Falcon. You also hide your gold daner. So you have a very flexible choice here coming out from S11. Now what would the answer for Falcon? They have to pick up a, an XP laner that can go against the Benedetta. So that's the Yuzhong potentially. Or maybe if they are considering the Uranus. <laughs> See, it's going to be weird. The Frederick is also there. And then there's the Beatrix. Still, for S11, you can go for a Claude or maybe an Aerithal. Okay. So they lock in um, XP lane Fredrin, which honestly we've seen him, I feel like, more in the jungle. Not sure yeah. uh, how many times, you know, the difference there is. But that CC, that taunt is still very valuable. Again, you're also working with the Valentina, deciding which ultimates you want to take here. Yeah. And you kind of can play around the fact that you have a Kaja as well. But still, you gotta, you got to allow Zipex to farm up here on this Beatrix because when I look at S11 Gaming with this lineup, it is flashy, it is aggressive, and at the same time, there's just a, a lot to work with because you've got to dodge, especially, the, I mean, pick potential for both is there. You've got the Way of the Dragon, you got the Divine Judgment from both teams. Uh, that They can utilize that, though. But still, clear speed and pressure from S11 Gaming is going to be something that they really have to worry about if you're Falcon Esports. It's a big concern, right? Honestly, for both of the teams right now, they're going to have to be able to maneuver around. I think the team that can maneuver better around these team fights will eventually get the dub, because yeah. right here as well, it, for me, it feels like whoever engages first will be able to get that massive advantage in these team fights and skirmishes, yeah. especially around the first neutral objective. I'm looking at the draft of both teams. Falcons' draft is definitely well-rounded. They have good late the game, they go good Smash early game them. if they have a Good snowball with the fanny it will be a very easy Welcome game for them. I mean, for Messi Onsi, however, they will have good 1v1. So every lane matchup is going to be good for Messi Onsi. Well, we're here. We're at game number one here between Falcon Esports and S11 Gaming. It's a do or die situation. Both of these teams want to get off to a good start. Already early on, Wolf, anything that sticks out to you in terms yeah. of emblems or rotations? Um, I guess uh, the Weapon Master Beatrix is. Not the as standard as you would expect. Normally, you go for the assassin, like a kill spree or whatever. But of course, oh. the damage output coming up from jo Justin almost taking down Chan. That's what we mentioned already early on. Right? <laughs> yeah, the damage output coming in from Falcon is going to be absolutely insane. Yep. And it comes down to him gauges first. Yep. Falcon, they wanted to go for it. This is their style. And S11 needs to be very careful with Ken on this banny. Yeah. yeah, I mean, even wow. just taking a look at the first blood rate, look Eight, at it, 87. Seven. That's a, that's quite that's a That's pretty high. You, you hit, what, almost nine times out of ten. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's well, crazy to think. Yeah, that's pretty much they're going for it now. Ken has the cut. Both times in, picks up is. first blood, and that's one kill over to Falcon Esports. The F in FCON means first blood, apparently. One thing that I do want to uh, point out for Falcon is that if you're looking at their composition, this is as meta as you can get. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Valentina is like S tier. Like, Fanny is almost A and higher A or S tier even. Kaj is like double S. Pitching is like double S. And even Frederick is S tier. So, an S tier lineup from Falcon. 
I mean, as meta as you can get. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty meta, right? And still, I think one of the biggest things here, Wolf, specifically, is what does Justin decide to utilize in terms of the IMU ultimate, right? Because yeah. still, I mean, you have decent choices, but the best one is probably going to be the way with the dragon, dragon yeah. take it from Erwin, look for the setup with that flicker combination. But he actually wow. just took Jotun's ultimate here on that Martis. He's looking for some executes. Papa Dog going to be able to find the Petrify there with the final blow comboed in. Yellow Flash going to fall. Tan joins in. Naomi can't steal it away. Jotun secures the first turtle of the game with his retribution. Well, very weird interaction in coming out from Falcon. They went in for Instead of the Way of Dragon, it was the Decimate, which is not really usable at that point. I mean, you get your level 4 onto the Valentina because you want to fight under the turtle, but they kind of concede that. Uh-oh, Kai, oh. gonna take it low. Ken picks up the kill with a high and dry. A beautiful bait by Zipix. So, you were wondering, Mirko, you know, Ken, where's his mind at? Where's the mindset at here? Well, obviously, he's off to a way better start here, three minutes in the game, and you can see, right? Ken, oh. the Blood Seeker. This man wow. is number one, highest first blood in M4 for first bloods. And that's a great statistic. It also highlights how he plays All in right. the jungle, regardless of, you know, he's he's kind of the type that can shake things off from previous games. Yep. And again, they've had a little bit of time here to kind of reset from that yep. uh, that matchup against Onik Esports. Erwin, though, finds a way to drag it. He's going to be terrified down by Justin. And that's a kill over, picked up by Naomi. Again, Falcon Esports, this is how they thrive yeah. in games. I really want to know how, why Justin just picked up the Decimate once again, but <laughs> this is what it is. Falcon, this is them uncaged. This is their comfort zone. This is where they can freely roam. That is true, Miracle. If they get kills, if they can become aggressive, they look really good. And this is how they want to play the game. They weren't able to do this against Onyx Esports, and now they're to win it against Arceonse. Heroin going to be able to actually jump in with the Jikun Do. Jotun absolutely deletes oh. it, but Ken jumps in the back line, finding the gold laner. Naomi to mid Zipix. Oh, dashing in. Oh my god. Force a flick around. That was a very aggressive movement by Zipix, and it just ended with him losing out on his battle spell. That was uh, interesting. I mean, that was almost the, what, the whole oh. team of S11 there on that side of the jungle for Falcon Esports. Yeah. So yeah. this is what we saw from the quote, right? The, that interesting gameplay, that hype, that aggressive gameplay is kind of what yeah. we're seeing here from both teams. And that's what we can expect from the series. Oh, Ken. Can Just a few more kills. Oh! <laughs> Wasn't even a question. He got yeah. it down. That's four kills for Ken. In four minutes. Wonderful usage of the Cutthroat Ultimate coming out from the Fanny, just not wasting any pixel, any second, any split second, not wasting any time to get that kill. Wonderful display coming out from uh, coming out from Ken. They need more though. Erwin gonna be brought back by the Divine Judgment over there earlier, but Falcon just yep. disengage. Yellow Flash now on the turtle, opening up for his jungler. Ken with no purple buff. That's gonna be a taunt onto two members, and that's Ken trying to look for the retribution steal. Jotun, way too quick with it. Yep. Two levels ahead now. Uh, Yellow Flash didn't manage to taunt Jotun. It's gonna be very difficult because you have some CC immunity coming out from the Martis, and this is now as Onse. You know that they really want to control those turtles. You saw that in the free game statistics. And Erwin! Oh, getting one back for his team. Naomi deleted, melted down. Zipix forced to rotate to the mid lane to help Justin out. Ken looking for his own purple buff, but it does look like S11 might be able to oh. do it. Erwin jumps in with the Jeet Kune Do, knocking three members up. That's the purple buff oh. stolen away by Chan, of all people. And Erwin still survives. 200 gold now, the lead for S11. I can't believe Erwin survived that, right? One shot away pretty much at that point. But still, I mean, given everything that's happened here, and yes, Ken has four kills, but hey, S11 do, S11's doing a great job at actually just playing around that, and they don't care if Ken has four kills and a couple items yep. at this point. They're just invading the purple buff like they should against this Fanny. Yeah, they know their windows. And then Essay also showed us this yesterday. They know when to attack. They waited for the right moment, six minutes in. They know that they have a little bit of an advantage over the Fanny. Then eventually they get a level advantage when it comes to the junglers. They invaded the purple buff, made sure that they get it. They even gave it to Chan. And all of these aggressions, timed aggressions coming up from Essay is really looking smart and really looking like they planned for it. This is the reason why they are leading now against Falcon. 
Chaos versus Control Chaos. Yeah. Mm -hmm. S11, so far, they're doing amazing. Ken, just looking for some damage, but up against Jotun, look at him. He's so tanky. He can clear faster, too. He's right now dominating the jungle matchup. I feel like this is so... I mean, Jotun alone, the fact that you have this jungle Martis, uh, and very just utility has that objective presence, too. I think they just get this turtle as everybody pretty much trying to get in position here, but they don't want to have it at all. Erwin, again, just buying some time, acting as a distraction for the rest of the team to secure the turtle for free. S11 still looking for an Erwin. It's going to be caught oh. by the Divine Judgment, suppressed down. And that's amazing! Oh Final blow! Goodness. A petrify on the floor! Justin going to be able to get out right now. Papa Dog is going to be one, the one slain, despite having an amazing oh. kick. Justin with away the dragon onto Jolton, back to the tournament. Double kill for Yellow Flash, as Kai is forced to walk away. Three for zero for Falcon. That was such a clutch way of the dragon from Justin because Jotun couldn't get the decimate off. He was he still had it. So he saved the team. I mean Justin just saved multiple members for Falcon Esports. Yeah, and that's almost a bit more than they could chew. They have already secured the, the turtle. They want to get the purple buff as well. Because they know that they can't take it away. However, they dove in too deep and they went in one by one. Erwin was caught in a very bad spot. Surely Papa Dog's Petrify and Electro Final Blow looked really well. It's hit four. But there wasn't any damage output afterwards and Argentina just massive blunder coming out from their team and this means that the Cam was able to get another purple buff on the opposite side of the map and now they have recovered. This is an even game now. Yeah, I mean, gold-wise, it's back to even at this point, right? But, you know, S11 Gaming, they're still in a good position to continue to fight, continue to be scrappy like this because, hey, if... if for some reason, Papa Dog gets another one of those combinations off with Petrify. It's going to be deadly. Oh, Ken is still able to get out. Jotun, though, getting a whole lot of damage, stealing the creep away. Divine Judgment onto the bottom side. Erwin going to be caught. Naomi picks up a kill. And I think right now, this is where Falcon really needs to stop putting the kills onto Naomi, unless he makes a crazy play like this. Justin still able to actually deal some damage with the Brilliance now. That's an amazing oh, Terrify. Again, Naomi gets the kill, something that should not happen this many times. He's taken away so many kills and so much gold from his own teammates. Well, they're still going out in the bottom side. Chan gonna be taking low flickers out. Let's Ooh. talk about this, man, because Naomi on a Natalia, sure. Yeah. On a Kaja? My goodness. And I think it's not just about the hero, it's the bot of them grouping up together. In the past three minutes, or even maybe four minutes, since the six minute mark, Naomi did not leave Zipix, as was Justin. That's why they're wasting some of the um, openings coming up from Essie There was a time where Erwin wanted to go onto yeah. Zipix. He was duly punished by Naomi, as well as Justin. And they're not leaving their marksmen, the supporting team. Positions four and five, not leaving position one of Falcon. This is the priority now. Well, they're going to be fighting for the Lord. Erwin, you got to go. Back. Divine Judgment, put your fire on the three, but it does not matter. Falcon are going to be able to actually wipe Erwin off. Kai to be dealing a lot of damage as Yellow Flash flickers forward. Oh. Not able to find any taunts down. Ken, with a purple buff now, has the resources necessary to look for something. Jotun just soaking in the damage with the Lord take S11. Discipline Gaming backs off and waits for the Lord. Great, I mean, Ooh. great take for S11. They Grab the Lord here. Now, honestly, Ken wasn't in the position to even be there enough to contest the retribution. No. So still, a great decisive decision from S11 yeah. Gaming. And like I said, given that early game potential that Falcon Esports had, S11's doing a great job here at building upon this game. That's right. I really like the timings of S11. Whenever they see like Ken on the opposite side of the map, opposite the Lord, they like, try to punish it or opposite the turtle. That's why they got it. And then Erwin just sacrificed himself. Oh. We gotta be really careful here, man. S11 has been playing this very aggressive game of cat and mouse. They're just trying to find a pick before Naomi can. And again, it's just that battle, Erwin versus yeah. Naomi. Naomi's been using the Divine Judgment a lot on Erwin, yeah. and Erwin's been taking that personally, using the way the dragon <laughs> onto Naomi. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that, that, but that, that's the thing. Look at the object, look at the map, right? Yeah. S11 Gaming actually controls the map because they've yep. got, what, three turrets, they had all three turtles, they got that first Lord, yeah. So, you know, you're probably thinking, what's going on here? Why is Falcon Esports struggling this much when they had such a strong start? Yeah. And even having the tools like Naomi on this Kaja, so far they really haven't been able to crack that defense from S11 Gaming. They're doing such a good job like this. Divine Judgment, but that is onto Jolton, who's so incredibly tanky. Oh. Still to be able to pick up the kill, but look at that in the back line. The damage from Kai and Chan. 
almost wiping Naomi Ooh. off the land of Dawn, but it's still just a one for zero. 12 to three, but the goal leads for S11. Yeah. Very important kill out to Jordan. This actually stops the growth of uh, Argentina, of S11. And Falcon will now have the time to farm. So far, what we've seen from them is that Ken will be playing the opposite lane or the longer lane, while the rest of the gang will just take care of Zipix. And what did that result into? 8.1k gold for this Beatrix. It's actually very strong now. You don't get to talk, man. They just want to. They, they want action 24 7. <laughs> Going back to the quote, it's yeah. interesting, right? It's interesting. <laughs> yeah, you love to see it here. The back and forth, but I mean, still looking at the kills, right, with it being heavily in favor of Falcon Esports, still, that really doesn't paint the picture of what's going on here. S11 still, Ooh. in terms of even itemization, they're in a good position to continue to fight like this. And yep. Jotun, hold on. You gotta be careful. Terrified down. Zipix does damage now, does a lot at the snipe. Oh. oh. So, so close. So close. Jotun barely gets out of that one, but this will enable Falcon to look for a turret in the mid lane. Tier 1. No. Not Actually, yet. great defense by S11 and good zoning by Erwin. Yep. You gotta have to take though, by the way, Falcon. They have the fleeting time on the Kaja. That's yeah. probably why S11 are not really just, you know, not on time when it comes to defending against the Divine Judgment. That is something that they have to take note of. Oh, this one's going to be tough, though. Ken actually here for this Lord. So in good position. Justin holding on to the Decimate, too. Do they actually commit to this one? Look at the positioning from S11. Lord going to be half health here. Yellow Flash tanking the majority of it. And they back off for the reset. Yeah. Does S11 go in? Erwin wants to go in. Doesn't get the way the dragon onto Justin properly, though. Now it's going to be the turn. Oh. oh my god! A beautiful retribution by Ken. And Pompadour gets out, but it's a fadeaway kill for Zipix. Ken still going massive in the back line. Going to be taken down by Kai, but Kai falls to the hands of Zipix, who's going massive now. Almost taking Chan down. A oh, defensive flicker away from the Lunox. And Falcon, 2,000 gold lead now for yeah. them. I really love the investment of Falcon right now. The start of the game, they weren't able to get Zipix into a good spot. He even had to rotate to the mid lane just to get a farm. And now he's 4, 0, and 6. The way that they handle this is so well. The Divine Judgment Flicker, and that's going to be Jonathan who's going to be caught. Oh, Justin Flickers forward with the Decimate. <laughs> will lose his life in the end. But that's the interesting gameplay that Coach Dale said early on in draft. Now with the Lord still in that bottom lane, they're looking to get one more base turret. But with Kai finally respawning back up, that's gonna be the final blow by Papa Dog to clear out the waves and also to deal damage onto Yellow Flash. The Petrify and the way the Dragon. Yellow Flash too tanky. The snipe coming oh! in! Zipex finds the monster kill. He's Ooh. lethal now, 6-0 and 7. You are seeing the fruit of the investment coming out from Falcon as they are continuously just poking Papadoc. If Papadoc doesn't able, uh, isn't able to find an opening onto the back, let's give Hennet close the gap because he's constantly being poked by Falcon. That's a problem for S.A. Honsen because now he will have to rely onto the Way of the Dragon, which hasn't found the mark in the past few minutes. Zipex in the midst of it all, going to be able to Oh my goodness! Zipex! Oh my goodness! Papa Dog gets out, gets Zipix down. Ken is styling, but Papa Dog gets out. So the heck was Zipix free hitting there? I don't know how he survived for that long, but now this is a dire situation for S11. They could possibly go for the end game here. Falcon Esports. Erwin gonna be melted down, loses the immortality. Justin actually stole away the final blow to deal more damage. The base is wide open. Oh, what a ton. Justin's gonna be popped in by Papa Dog, and Justin picks up the double. And that's Falcon who secures a match point. Game number one over to Falcon. What a game. I mean, it was a little dicey there for a little bit, but yes, interesting yeah. is the name of that <laughs> game right there between these two yeah. teams. Uh, SA Onset just found good timings in the early stages, right? They found good openings in the turtle fights. They eventually got the first Lord and yet they were able to get like interesting, interesting kills. Falcon, however, they have found the opening. In the first few minutes of the game, they weren't able to find a farm for Zipix. He had to rotate to the mid lane. Eventually, afterwards, they put two bodyguards. Justin and Naomi did not leave the side of Zipix up until the latter portions. That is why he was able to finally get one kill. He started, what, 1-0 and 4 after getting 0-0 and 2. Then eventually 4-0-6 and now it's 7-1-6. Amazing growth from the investment ROI for Falcon. I mean, in all, it, they were off to a great start again with Ken, right? The, I feel like it was.